bring out everything in. And other man's owners say, no, you bring, whatever you now you can bring in from the Zer Shofa, you bring in. So that's a known machloikas about how far you learn Zer Shofa. So our mission is going to come to man's owner that you limit what you know from Zer Shofa. That's called Dumni Nei, Omi No. And the other, the other man's owner says, no, Dumni Nei, Kuki Ashol, that you bring in everything. No, the Messiah was that is a Zer Shavu. How do you learn the Zer Shavu? How far does the Zer Shavu that, that, that there exists a Zer Shavu? How you learn a Zer Shavu is a Machoikas. That's not Messiah. What you learn is not that. All the, all the only thing you learn is Zer Shavu is the only Messiah is that there is this Zer Shavu, these two connections. The shoulders should be laser. Mamzer is like a ser, a sorry dory mahu. The astro blazer, the shail. How do you pass him about a, a mamzer after 10 generations? On the hem, me tell leader, shish you attend. It says not practical question. You won't even find, you find me a third generation mamzer. Um, that I, and then you ask me the shail, why? I'll look so the mamzer look hard. He held that somehow the Rabbi Shalom is the side of things. He says, it's not an actual question because these mamzerim don't last that long. A mamzerah she yadua. So the Gemara says, Shalom yadua. Mamzerah leichai. The Gemara says, Well, now son, mamzerim is surah, is surah, is surah. Oh, you look at the whole Mishnah that they for all generations, you know, even after ten generations, they're also. How do you how do you learn that? I mean, you say mamzerah leichai. Amr mamzerim le didi mefarshu nei du yehuda. Di didi leichai lo yadia leichai. A mamzerah yadua. Right, especially you know, he's got a name, Mamza Yidua, and everyone calls him a Mamza, and everyone is known to be this family, known to be Mamzerim. So they're they're all right; they'll live. They're not a Michsho. But the problem is the Loya the Loya an unknown Mamza that people don't know whether he's a Mamza or not. Loichai that the Rebbeinu Shalom is some sivers that they don't they don't really last. Uh, so if they move them. different places, uh, they, they, they die out. Oh, <laughs> the idea. So it's not Kadai for the idea. The idea of the idea, where there's, it's not, there's not much. There's a major scandal in the Mamzeris. It was in all the front pages of the papers. So then, oh, so then it's mums, there's a Mamza Yadua, so then that's fine. You know, and the name of the family has, is blackened, and then they've got joint, that's fine. The way you have, people knew about it. No, it's not, it wasn't that. So then, there, what happens there is, Three generations it lasts, but after that, nisht. Until Zdorachai, it's very high because after three generations, people will forget. They, you know, it wasn't that well known, and people tend to forget, and then they can end up, which happens sometimes, <coughs> end up uh, amalgamating to Klal Yisrael. So to protect the Yichas of Klal Yisrael, the Rebbein Yishlein will make sure somehow that they die off, they don't have children, they die off, whatever it is. Um, the Gemara says, Ha'ud Hava B'Shugos Seid Ravami, there was a mamzer in the neighborhood of Ravami. Ach, there's a lady mamzer haver. He clapped out in the mimah. He clapped out to him, the Eid of mamzer haver. There was a, I, I, when I came to Gates, uh, they told me there was the Zikne Gates. They told me there was a mice in the yeshiva. There was a boy who was um, apparently discovered, discovered to be a mamzer. And the uh, Manahel, Rabbi, Rabbi Khan, uh, told, apparently he, he, he clapped out on the bimah. This boy is a mamzer. That sounds terrible, but listen to this. So here, this fellow also had a problem. Bachi um, Gazel, he was crying. I've just given you a lease of life because if we cover it up, we shush it up, we'll make you a shidduch, we'll find a shidduch with a gear, it's a mamza, and we'll shush the whole thing up. So then, then it's the Shazak Lotham and the Hashkocha works to protect the. Yichas of Kal Yisrael that they will die out. So I've given you life. Omer of Chana Barado, and the scene in David goes out there. Um, David said, "That's by the, so that's why I said it's halacha that this from this Gemara it's halacha that you don't cover up the if there's mamzerus if it's discovered that someone's a mamzer you don't cover it up. It's uh, that, that's that's always been the minute. It's not covered up. However, of course, it's a terrible mice. I mean, God, go and go and let, how do they live their life after that? But." Uh, that's what they do. And you, you know what happened to the Mamzerim in the time of uh, the Goran Langer case? We, we, I think we've been through this. No, but with the mice guys. or whatever happened to the children? I don't know quite such. I don't think they're from them. They're not from them. Good, but they, barely, um, they got married. Um, 
Gemara says, Amr of Chana Barata, Nesinim, Dovid, Got Amen. These Nesinim, the results of Exera, Dovid. So, and we'll see, there was Exera from Moshe Yeshua too, but Dovid also, the Dovid really gave them their, their, their the final nail in their coffin and totally disqualified them from Kali Yisrael. What's the Maisa? Shnem, Avikra, Melchel, Gilein, Vyem, Elohim, Vagiboinim, Loi, Mibnei, Yisro, Elohim. Basically, that Possek says, Hagvainim, Loi, Mibnei, Yisro. They will not be recognized ever as a part of Kali Yisro. They can't get into Kali Yisro. The Gemara says, My timer goes our Elayu. Um, how come the... Um, the, if my time goes alive, why would he, why was he going against the scene? This sip, so here's the mic, so we've discussed a bit of it. It says, well, he rolled me David, Shal Shonim, Shonach Shonim. There was a draw, a famine, because three consecutive years. So this wasn't a chance, three consecutive years, there's something to it. There's a Chazoka, Shonim's Chazoka. You have to know. But after, what, what's his role for? So, Shonah, Rishayin, Oma, Lahem, Shemu, Yitik, Chom, Yesh, Bechem. At first they said, the first year said, maybe, the reason is, from the famine is, that there's a problem, it's, it's fine, it's coming from something, maybe there's a way that's called, and that was the, that was the first thing we think about, maybe there's um, people in the Tzigo, and they show my way that's called, which was an old problem, till, till, um, it had been very prevalent, till Shmuel came around, so they, it's all about 50 years before David, um, not, not even last, for the time, there'd be problems with Abay the Zara, now Abay the Zara was really, on, was eradicated mostly, after David, after Shaul and David came to the throne, and then he got back in again. So the first of all, Marcus Shaul with Nishol in it, and then there was always the bonus. They had the problem with the bonus. There was always a shtickle Avodah So the first thing you say is, is it Avodah Zorah? And we know what Tosit says with Eirish, that Eirish from Avodah is famine. So the first thing you say is, is it Avodah Zorah? And Tosit is famine. Uh, no rain. But they went trekking around all kinds of sort. No, there's no problems with Avodah Zorah. Maybe there's a problem of znos. Stam aver is always znos. The chesiv imonu revivim malchus lahoyo metzach yishazayin lahoyo lavrat. From that pasuk, you see, there's a connection between lack of rain and uh, problems of immorality. But kulavay matzav didn't find the shlishis on them. Shem of poiski tzoka barabi mishkan leisim. There's a problem. People who um, have to appeal, they, you know, they they put their hands up. Ten thousand dollars, whatever they 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 you know they they schnodder or you know they schnodder or you know they could do a great semisha beira the big money they never come up with the money. That's a din of a nether. What? Of course not din of a nether. Of course, yes. Poiski and stalker, they don't come through through with it. A noisy, there's a special oynish. They say we see and we look, we get an eye. Ish mishalu b'matzah sheker. Someone who's mishalu b'matzah sheker. Yeah, everyone, psh, they clapped, everyone clapped for the fellow, they, they honoured him at the dinner or whatever, and they never, he promises the money and he never comes through. It happens. That's Ish Mishal Matna Shekhar, and it says, it's the same as Nesim Baruch Geshemayim. You know, when you have, you're expecting rain, so many times it used to be that, in, I know other winters we were expecting rain, there's suddenly rain, gorge, nothing, it's another month going by without rain. It gets cloudy and everything, no rain, nothing, you know, no snow, whatever it is, the... It's, in other words, these false alarms, that's the Oinash for people who also, they, put, they pledge, you, you, there's a promise there of money, it never comes through. So there's a promise of rain in the background, look cloudy, it never comes through. Anyway, there wasn't that problem, it, it, all the pledges, all the Yom Kippur appeals were in, it was, they were fine. And the Gemara says, I'm a not of a tell a big. You know, I've got to maybe I've got to do further research. It's up to me to find out why me out of Vakish Dovid's Pnei Hashem, who's misspelling Vakish is Pnei Hashem Mai. What mean we Vakish Pnei Hashem? On which Lokish Shashal the Urim Betumim. He went, he went, and he consulted with the Urim Betumim, which apparently is a last resort. Could have consulted earlier on, but Urim Betumim, you only consult where it's a question. You have no other way of finding an answer. And the only person who's allowed to consult, uh, 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 yeah. the Kayin Gogol doesn't have hours when you know, it gets fitlach and pidyonus and uh, people come in and queuing up for the answer. Kabbalah's call. It doesn't go. Kabbalah's call. End of it. It's, it's the, what it works is a melech. It's, it's only, it says Yeshua, Lifnei Eloza Kayin Yamoid Eshol Isa Vemishpa Umatum. It's a privilege for the king. The king of all, only matters of national importance. He says, so he went there, 
It's a Ksiv Hos Mashola Yishva learned Pnei Hashem. So you learn, it says, he was in Bakish Pnei Hashem, and it says, Vashal Loi the Mishva learned with Pnei Hashem. So the answer came by Adum and Tumim. The reason for this is Shol Val Beis Hadomi. El Shol Shoi Nisbet Kalocha. Shol, they never gave a Hesbet Kalocha. Val Beis Hadomi, Al Ashahe Misagivoimim. He killed the Givoimim. The Gemara says, We don't find that Shol mastered the whole Givoimim. That we do know, that he accused Nehru Kain of being worried by Malchus and assisting David against him. So he slaughtered them out. So he must speak in their mind Muslim. Now that was the source of the Parnosa. Naiv was the source of Parnosa for the Givainim, who were, that was their job to bring water, wood and water, there was lots of tourists and pilgrims <coughs> coming, or the regular coming to Naiv. It was a big business. They got Parnosa from that. That all went when Naiv went into Divine. Samala Kosa Kosov ki ilu hagam. They had no panasa, they were left destitute. Kotov el shol shule nisma kolok kotov la shahim se gibayim. It's funny that you're asking two, two opposites. The shol is so great, it wasn't nisma kolokha. That's one reason for the rod. And the other is because what shol himself did. I mean, it's uh, contradictory. In the other shok shmai, the sivik shashem kolam de yorts, a shem shpotu kolu ba shem ishpotu ishom pol. When you judge something, you also mention the schusim. So the Sosin came out too, and they weren't recognized. Omer David, Shol Nachkul Trace, or Sheach Shos, or Dark in the midst of him. Nesinim, Mikhil Nesinim. Says Shol, it's not the guy to give a husband, but let's try the Nesinim. Let's try and be Mophias them. So just before we go, so it says, uh, um, it says, it says Shol wasn't, they weren't Maspid Shol. So um, I, I seem to remember when Dinah Bromsky was nifter. So I heard the husband from my father who was a design, and the husband he said like this. He says, you know, it says Shaul based on Dominic. Yeah, Shaul had a good, he had a, he had a husband. God, we gave a grace husband. The famous husband of Dobbit, the king of the Dobbit, she gave, um, the king of Dobbit, which gave after Eich Noflu Giboirim and everything. So what's what's he? What's this? Uh, he's in this bit of but the point is like this. Yeah, it's very easy to give a hesper. You give a hesper and cry uh, at the the line. But this, a hesper's got to have more than that. You have to know what a person's done. You have to be able to recognize what the person's life work is. Now, very often you can only tell that a lot later on. Young t- at the time you don't know, but you see the results of them later on. So he said about Dinah Bramsky that he was in London Bezdin. Uh, it was a very sedian, but the results of what he did was only later on that you see put down the most, I mean, the, the criteria for Gairus and, the, and uh, many halachas, many went on the criteria for Gairus and everything which have, have always been highly recognized. The Gairus among the best was recognized, still is recognized. That was all laid down by him. And he only saw that after he left, he saw the results of what he did. So that's Machai of another Hesped. So that's, uh, that's uh, there's a special Hesped on the person's life work. So as we said, we'll see on Kaponim Raboisai, but tomorrow we'll go fur- further and see what happened with these Nasinim with God.